Well, how well do you actually understand logarithms? Well, if you have a pretty good basic understanding of logarithms, this should be a very easy problem to answer. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the question. We have log or logarithm base five of three. So what is this equal to? Well, this is a multiple choice question and our answers are A, 15, B, 3 fifths, C, negative 2.9 and D, 0.68. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna fully explain how to uh, solve this problem. And if you don't know what a logarithm is, stick around because I wanna give you a basic introduction uh, to this concept and uh, you'll be able to understand the answer as well. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and get into this right now. So here is our problem. Now, let's suppose you are a math student and you come across this problem and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I have no idea uh, what to do here. Uh, should I guess? Absolutely, okay? Unless you're gonna get penalized for an answer, always take a guess. But uh, if you look here, uh, you might be thinking, well, there's a five here, there's a three here, maybe we multiply, uh, I'm gonna guess 15. Well, that is a good guess, but that is wrong. Well, maybe we take this three and we divide it by five, so maybe it's three fifths. Well, that's even a better guess, but that's wrong as well. So now you might be saying, all right, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, show me how to do the math. Well. The only way to really get this problem right is to calculate the answer, but this is not that difficult. Now, before I get into this, uh, some of you may have never studied logarithms. So where do you study this in math? And uh, now this is uh, different from uh, most people, or well, let me just say this much. Uh, most people will learn about logarithms if they ever studied it in this manner. Okay, that was a terrible way to phrase that, but I think most of you understand what I'm talking about. All right, so let's talk about high school level mathematics. So for the most part, uh, most people start off in high school or secondary school. They start off with a full year of algebra. Then typically they move on to like a full year of geometry, and then they move on to like a second year of algebra. So that's like algebra two, college algebra, intermediate algebra. There's all different courses and whatnot, but it basically it's a continuation from what you learn from your first year of algebra. So generally at this level, you learn about logarithms. Now, uh, logarithms are extremely important because they allow us to solve exponential equations. So if I have an equation like 2x is equal to 17, this is an exponential equation because the variable x is in the exponent spot of this power. So we cannot solve this equation unless we use logarithms. Now, of course, I'm not gonna teach you all this. If you wanna learn more about uh, solving exponential equations and logarithms, I'll give you some specific recommendations here in a second. But uh, this is why we need logarithms. It's a huge uh, topic in mathematics. Now, um, to calculate, though, a log of a number, the logarithm of a number, well, this is uh, where these two buttons on your calculator come in pretty handy. Okay, the first is a LOG and the next is LN. So if you don't have a calculator handy, you can just look online and pull up a scientific calculator, a graphing calculator, but you'll uh, locate these buttons here. And uh, let's take a look at an example here of uh, just taking a logarithm of a number. So we're going to use LOG, okay? Now this is called the common log and LN is called the natural log. I'll give you some more information on this in a second, but let's use this button on your calculator. Now, you don't even know, or some of you don't even know what, uh, what a logarithm is, but we're just gonna calculate the value then I'll tell you what this means. Okay, so if you wanna follow along, that is perfectly fine. So go ahead and uh, find the logarithm of uh, 100. Okay, so you can type in 100, hit the LOG button or LOG 100, hit enter. You'll see that the answer is two. All right, so that is uh, awesome. What does this mean? Because some of you are like, uh, yeah, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you understand, but I still don't understand what's going on. 
well, this has something to do with bacon and eggs. And you're like, bacon and eggs? Are you talking about breakfast? breakfast? Yes, indeed, I am. So here is how we can think about it. All right, so log B A equals E. So bacon and eggs, that's just a little memory aid. Bacon and eggs, B A equals E. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, let me show you here real quick uh, because we're going to understand this example problem here before we get to our actual problem. Okay, so the common logarithm uh, on your calculator when you have this LOG button, so a logarithm has a base, okay? Now the button, this LOG button on our calculator, the common log, uh, we just generally write LOG, okay? But actually there is a uh, 10. This is log base 10. We never write the base 10, but there is a base 10 there. Now, our problem that we're going to be dealing with is log base 5. Okay, now, if it's other than log base 10, we put in, um, you know, if it's not the common logarithm, you have to write the specific uh, uh, base. But if it's just LOG, it is implied that there is a base 10 here. All right, so this is uh, what you want to kind of keep in mind, bacon and egg. So LOG, B, A equals E. So here the 10 is our base, okay? Now, when we're talking about powers, like two to the third power, two is the base, three is the exponent, and the answer is what? Two to the third power is two times two times two is eight. So eight is the answer, okay? So we're just gonna follow this pattern right here. So log of 100 equals two means what? Well, the base here is 10, all right? So this is log base 10. So what's our exponent? Our exponent is over here, okay? So our exponent is two, and our answer is right here. So uh, 10 squared is 100, okay? So this is our answer, this is our base, and this is our exponent. Okay, so when we have exponential functions, you can write those exponential functions as logarithmic expressions and vice versa because uh, logarithm and exponential functions are inverses of one another. Okay, I could be going off on a full-on math tangent here, but I'm going to kind of keep it simple. But, you know, it does us no good uh, to calculate the answer to this problem unless you understand, you know, what we're doing. Okay, so we're calculating the logarithm of a number, but uh, what we're really doing here is thinking about that bacon and eggs, right? So this is log base 10. Actually, I'll write this down one more time for those of you that want to see it again. So log of uh, bacon equal and eggs, all right? So uh, base, answer, exponent. All right, so which, of course, is the base to the exponent is equal to the answer. All right, so that is a simple example problem, but we have a situation here, and on our calculator... Uh, we only have two buttons. We have the LOG button, that's log base 10, okay? Uh, specifically log base 10. This is, the, this is, again, called the common logarithm. And then we have LN, and that is log base E. Now, E is the natural base E. That is a number, if my memory serves me right, it's like 2.718, something uh, around uh, that uh, E. I should really know that uh, uh, number much better because E is one of the most important numbers in mathematics. But anyways, uh, that's what E is. So this is the natural log. This is the common log. But these are our only two buttons on our calculator. So we have log base 10 and log base E. Well, what we're trying to do here is figure out the prompt to log base 5. How can we do this, right? Well, unfortunately, there is no log base 5 uh, button on our calculator. So what should we do? Well, we need a formula. And this is the formula we need. This is called the change of base formula. And this will allow us to calculate uh, the value of any logarithm irrespective of its base. Okay, so here's the formula, log uh, uh, base B of A, okay, and of course this follows our pattern. So if we have a log, whatever base B is of some number A, that's equal to log A, okay, so this number is gonna be the numerator. Now notice this log, this can be the common log, natural log, uh, the base isn't important. We're just gonna find the log of A and we're gonna divide that by the log of B. Okay, so if you're a little bit confused here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to uh, use this formula in our little example. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can, but the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. 
So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. Now that we understand the change of base formula, this is a critical formula because you're going to encounter a lot of problems in math that are not just log base 10. It could be like log base 7. It could be a log of whatever, and you need to be able to calculate the value of these things. So again, what we're going to do is take log that of the number, okay? That's gonna be our numerator, log, and this could be any log. It could be uh, the natural log, or it could be the common log, it doesn't make a difference. And then we're gonna divide that by log base b, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, actually use the formula right now. All we have to do is follow the pattern, okay? So a is the number, this is our a, okay? So we're gonna find the log of a, and here we can just use, again, the common log, all right? There's no rule uh, that we have to use any other um, base, okay? It could be the natural log. It could be ln3. It will work as well, okay? But uh, typically, you're not going to use, the only time you really use ln is when you're dealing with base e. All right, so we're going to have uh, log3, and we're going to divide that by the uh, log of 5, okay? So we're just following the pattern of this little formula. And again, this is the change of base formula. And when we calculate this, we're going to get approximately 0.682. There's some other decimals, but I just kind of rounded things off to make this uh, answer nice and simple. Okay, so a very, very important uh, formula that you need to know about logarithms. And hopefully, uh, those of you out there that didn't uh, even know what a logarithm is, you have some basic understanding, hopefully, of why we need to use logarithms. And you should also appreciate that, uh, you know, you are learning logarithms right now. Because back in the good old days, I'm talking like early 80s, um, it's definitely like the 70s and the 60s, obviously. Anytime, I would say... Uh, I was uh, studying this in high school, like in the early uh, 80s or so. And at that time, yes, we had calculators, but we also uh, used uh, tables in the back of our uh, textbook. So if you ever come across an old school, um, you know, high school level algebra book or whatnot, or trigonometry book, we used tables. So I know a lot of you out there can relate to that. And uh, you had to get really good at that. Now, for me, uh, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you were lucky because you didn't have to use a slide rule. Now, if you don't know what a slide rule is, those things are totally awesome. They're like a ruler with a little slide thing, and there's a little um, uh, scales. Then uh, slide rules are absolutely amazing as well. So you can actually calculate logarithms using a slide rule, but you have to know how to use a slide rule, which is a whole different skill in and of itself. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.